once the ink in your marksmith is all used up and it doesn't write anymore, there's two options. You can either replace the cartridge with a new cartridge, like this, or you can refill the cartridge using permanent marker ink. There are several permanent marker inks available. The Edding T25 is a very popular permanent marker ink that's available in different colors. And the nice thing about this container is that it's got a built-in dropper, so it's easy to refill. There's other brands too. Pilot makes some, and I list some more on my website, which you can use. Now, as long as your tip is still good, you can continue to use the cartridge until the tip is worn out. So the first step is to unscrew the tip. We're going to remove the cartridge and we're going to pop the cap off the back of the cartridge. And that involves just a little bit of leverage to remove that. Set it down. And it's going to take about 40 drops of ink to refill a completely depleted cartridge. So first, make sure you shake the ink so that the solids gets mixed in really well. And now you should probably wear gloves, although it's a fairly clean process. And you're going to carefully dropper the ink in. So I'm going to count one, two, three, it's going to take a look. I don't want to see what you don't want to see is you don't want to see any pooling. If you're getting pooling, then you've added too much ink because you're, you're, the whole goal is just to saturate the felt. If you see pooling, that means you've oversaturated the felt. You can see a little bit of like touching on the edge like that, but you don't want to see pooling at the bottom. I'm going to add, so I'm at 30, I'm going to add 10 more. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-nine, forty. Okay, so a little bit of, a little bit there, but that's gonna probably feed its way down into the bottom of the cartridge. So it's not like it's not pooling all the way around. See, it's okay if there's a little bit of kind of contact around the on the outer surface. Now when you're done, see it's fairly clean. I didn't even get any on my gloves. Cap it off. Put the cap back on. And it's not going to come out of the tip immediately. You're going to have to let it sit for a few hours to soak all the way up this neck all the way to the tip. That's why we include two cartridges too, because then you can use a new cartridge right away and let this one just soak in and be ready for later. To reassemble it, you put it down in here and you want to just turn it until it drops in place and it's kind of, you can feel where it's kind of like locked in, doesn't want to rotate more than that amount. And then test it to see if it comes out smoothly. If there's any blockage, then you're in the wrong place and you need to do that little drop in and rotate thing again. Hold it with a tip down like this so, the, so that the refill is vertical. You want to have the bolt all the way up like this, slide it down over the cartridge. What, what you don't want to do is you don't want to lift and rotate the cartridge while you're doing this. But then you can then you can let go of the bolt. It's going to sit on top of the cartridge, and then rotate the top part, not the bottom part, until it's together again. Now test it carefully to make sure it comes out. There you go. So it should be smooth with no obstruction. If there's any obstruction, then you need to reset the cartridge inside the tip. Once it's set, it's not going to move around. So I'll show you that it's not going to be ready to mark right away. You can see it's a lot, it's already, it's already a little bit darker, but it's going to take a little while to soak to the tip. We're going to let it sit and come back later and try it again. Once you've left the cartridge upright long enough for the ink to flow from the felt in the back all the way to the down to the tip, then you can use the marker again. Like I said, if you have two cartridges, then you can just swap out for the new fresh cartridge and let the other cartridge soak with the ink for a little while. It'll be uh, quicker to transition that way. I also recommend refilling before it gets like super dry because then it allows the ink to flow a little bit faster. So after it's 
soaked in, test it out, and it works great again.